Welcome to this video. We're go today we're going to be talking about gardening and we're glad to have you here. If you can look around me, you can see I have a number of, you know, different uh, trays and seeds over here, some marking pencils, uh, my uh, some fertilizer and some other uh, uh, root stimulant and a number of other things, a book. I'm going to talk a little bit about these before we get started. This is a is a fertilizer. It's a full spectrum full spectrum, sorry about that plant nutri nutrient from the sea. It uses uh, fish, uh, kelp, and a number of other uh, different um, nutrients from the sea and is, uh, has had very, very good success in helping plants grow very well. It doesn't take very much. I'm going to be showing you how to put that on your plants and we're, we're going to do that. I'm also going to be talking about this little, what I'm going to call Agent M. This is actually in an experimental uh, stage right now. We're working with the developers of this. Uh, this is a remarkable substance. It's a root stimulant and we're going to talk about using that as well. I won't talk about the name of it because we don't have it specifically yet, um, but this Agent M has been proven uh, in a number of places and this is all and everything we do is natural, um, using natural products, natural substances, no chemical additives um, for our garden. So you can see with, around me I have all of my all of my plots loaded with the, this soil. Uh, you can see many of them loaded right now. Uh, so I've left one available and I want to bring you around and show you what I do and how I store the potting soil. The first part of my test is I want to make sure I have all of the same type of soil. So what I'm doing here is, is filling, as I did with all of the other trays, I'm filling this up, shaking it off, leveling it out. The next thing I do is you can see that I'm going to pour the fertilizer that we talked about uh, mix it up a little bit, shake it up, and I'm going to pour it in a bucket. Now, um, all we're going to do with this is we're actually going to take a little cup and we're going to wet the soil so that it's all nice and wet. And we're going to do this with every tray. Now, notice I have two different sets. I have the, uh, the uh, set of trays on my left and the set of trays on the right. And I'm going to do that with both sets. Now, the second set, I'm going to use my Agent M. Uh, and in the Agent M, you'll see this actually quite clear. You can't see it very well in this picture. Um, actually, uh, when I did this test, I didn't realize that I needed to actually shake that up uh, from the original stuff. And, and so the concentration is actually less than probably what it should have been. So it's very clear in the picture. Normally, the Agent M will be a little bit darker, not quite as dark as the fertilizer that we have there. The next step that I need to do is I go through and I label every one of my trays or the uh, sets of six um, uh, pots and so that I can know exactly what I have in each one of my trays and I do that on both sides both on my left and on the right obviously the ones that are on my right the left of the screen are the ones with the uh, uh, fertilizer and the ones on the right uh, the, the P is the fertilizer uh, from the name of the fertilizer and we also did that with the ones on my left which is screen right is uh, going to have the M on the side then I will take those and for example you saw the P one and I have labeled one two three four five and six and what I'm going to do is I will actually label each one of the trays each one of the cups in the trays and I'll write that down and the ones in M, M1, and P1 will be identical in each one of the two trays. So I can keep track very closely of what I'm doing in my test. Now, in my first set of trays, I'm going, we're going to be growing quite a few peppers and tomatoes this year. And so I'm going to get some, several of these started. In the first trays, in both A or in both M and P, I'm going to be putting some Serrano chilies. Now, you may be wondering what in the world I'm doing down here on the ground. Well, actually, this is two weeks later. I've uh, actually got some of my plants right down here, and I happen to put them under my bottom shelf of one of my closets. Um, I want you to show, you can see right here we've got some of my, I believe this is broccoli growing. Uh, I've got some tomatoes actually starting right here. These are actually some of my heirloom tomatoes that we that we saved seeds from last year. 
Um, and so we're growing again this year. Actually, these are just starting today. These ones coming up. may not be able to see these. This one's just... You can see a little bit of green right in here. Hopefully, we're zoomed in enough that you can see that. Um, a little bit of green that just came up today. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to record when these came up. But I wanted to show you how simple this is just to keep these growing. Um, all I have to do is put a little bit of water on these each day. You'll notice that I have about a three to four inch and that's as much as I want. And as my plants get bigger, I will actually raise this, this light up a little higher that's attached right to the bottom of the shelf. It's just a very simple process. Now I want to show you one more thing. You remember my cards. Well, if we can look right here on one of the cards, you can see that I have listed right here what's in each plant. If you look at um, this one right, right down here, you can see that in this particular tray, I actually am growing several different plants. So I just label them each row as I went around there, A, B, C, and D, so I know exactly what's in my plant. And also, as each one comes up, you can see that um, as the plants are coming up, you can see right here, I list the date that it actually came up. So I have listed on the side of my list right here when I planted them, and then in this slot, I know what date they first emerged. So it just gives me a little bit of accuracy so I know what I've done each year and what I can expect.